to the Lithuanian Prime Minister Ingrid Shirumite and the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metsola. Prime Minister, thank you very much. It is a great pleasure to congratulate the President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metsola, for coming to Vilnius. So, first of all, I would like to express my joy that the President came here, for, not for a simple reason, but during the days that are very important to us. Tomorrow, she will also participate in a formal meeting of the Parliament where we will commemorate the Day of Freedom Fighters and we will give the uh, a prize of Freedom Fighters, Freedom Defenders, and this year it is dedicated to the European Parliament. So I would like to congratulate the President on this occasion. I think this the prize is definitely um, worth it. So this day is a day when we remember people who through their personal sacrifice showed that freedom is something that we have to fight for every day and that freedom and personal dignity never has a too high a price. We remember that today when we remember people who fell on the 13th of January, but also when we think of people who are today, yesterday and tomorrow, every day, they are proving this by fighting for Ukrainian freedom and for territorial integrity. The year 2023 was a special year to the EU and to Lithuania as a member of the EU. We consistently supported Ukraine in its fight for our common values and freedom. And the European expansion process gained acceleration as well. Lithuania fought for it for a long time. And we decided at the end of the year to finally begin negotiation with Ukraine and Moldova for their membership in the EU. I'll be brave enough to say that the EU and Lithuania became stronger economically and energy-wise. We understood the risks that are facing us and we took the necessary action to strengthen our long-term resilience both economy and energy wise and i'm glad to see that we found uh, agreement on legal acts to resist the issues caused to us by migration and illegal migration used by hostile state as a tool this year will be just as uh, as uh, hard, it will require our unity, and that's why during the meeting with the President of the European Parliament, we talked about these challenges and about uh, decisions that are facing us. We are still facing important decisions on a long-term financial program for the EU and further financial and military support for Ukra Ukraine. We have a duty to not get tired, to, to continue support Ukraine faster and faster in any circumstances and in any way possible until Ukrainian victory. I'm glad to see that a decision was made on May to begin negotiation with Moldova and Ukraine and uh, we have to continue working and we hope to see official accession negotiation to begin this March, this uh, spring. We also discussed other issues for the third this March will mention the 20-year anniversary in the EU. It will be a beautiful opportunity to once again remember that freedom and democracy are not ensured, that we have to fight them for them every day. Thank you.